Hey everybody, so uh, shaky phone recording. Um, this wonderful uh, gem has arrived here finally, and uh, I was just going to put it through its paces and see, uh, you know, if it worked like it did in the uh, in the auction. The only thing wrong with these two buttons, um, which isn't that big of a deal, because you can get these front panels. It's dirty, um, but those that are not familiar with the the ESA L1500, these were state of the art actually when uh, uh, when I used to use them, um, and that was probably early 2000s. This is, and then it was they were I mean they were new then. Um, so last calibrated 2009, um, not that big of a deal. Um, these front plates you can get them on eBay. I mean, people part sell these things and they part them out, um, so I can get a new front, uh, a new front panel easily. And only it's just the membranes in there. That's just a like a like like a carbon uh, contact, like on your uh, inside of a TV remote control. Same thing. But these are intact, so um, presumably to get around it for the moment, I could probably just you know stuff something in there from an old TV remote, just cut out a button to stuff it in there just to use it until I can look at a, uh, look on eBay for a front panel. Um, typically, you know, 100 or 200 bucks for the, the whole front assembly, um, which is, you know, uh, in good shape. Otherwise, um, if I could just get the buttons come out of that, I don't think the buttons came out of this. I think that this was an assembly, so I don't think you can just get the pieces, but I'd have to check. Um, anyway, no tracking generator. This thing has no options, no GPIB. No nothing. Um, it's pretty much just a field spectrum analyzer, and these were field units because they have these, you know, rubber guards. They have one on the front, and one on the back. Then you'd have a cover. They've got the um, uh, the little hooks here, and you'd put a cover on it. Uh, no floppy drive, so I'm not doing any firmware updates. Uh, besides, I don't know if this thing has expanded memory. Which, if it doesn't have the other options, it probably doesn't have expanded memory to do the. Um, uh, the uh, firmware updates um, has the volume and that just controlled this um, so um, I mean because this does have the capability to demodulate some signals um, I think AM and FM if I recall AM and FM were standard on these so you could just tune this thing into a uh, FM station to just verify that the demodulation works um, AM is of course easy to do that um, but anyways um, it's obviously filthy needs to be cleaned up uh, but that's all there is on the front. Uh, so bear with me while I flip this thing around. Thing weighs about 35, 40 pounds. Pretty heavy. Uh, so here's the back. Um, external gates, uh, stuff like that. Triggers, whatnot. Got a VG output. That'll be handy because that's what I intend to use uh, for this. I'm just going to throw a monitor on it so this way I can see the screen. Um, anyway. Um, processor battery life i gotta crack it open and make sure that that battery is at least reasonable um a lot of these instruments used uh, one of those uh soldered on the board batteries and they leak and bad things happen and i don't need this thing it supposedly works i don't need it destroyed um 10 megahertz ref so um i can just use my uh, gps do to um uh you know to calibrate the internal reference myself pretty much i mean um, I get a new faceplate and maybe I will send it out to Cal Lab, have them calibrate it. Maybe they can do firmware update since it doesn't have a floppy drive. Because as I recall, these things firmware update was like nine or ten floppy drives, uh, or disks rather. But anyway, I'm going to turn it on and we're going to see if, um, if things work. See if I can't, uh, feel for the, uh, okay. So isolation transformer, we'll turn that on. I do have it hooked up to a Variac. <laughs> I don't know that I completely trust it. Although I did see it working in the pictures, so let's just turn it on. So I remember them doing that, the displays with the lines. So there you have it. So it's doing its initial thing. Um, I saw the, te the pass screen, so I know that it, it works. Yeah, see? Hell, even the damn date and the time is right. Well, time's wrong, but date's right. Um, no, well, actually, the, this came from the West Coast, so the time is actually right. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, so, we got a funny chirping going on in there. Um, so, I need to check that out, because I don't like chirping sounds. I don't know how if that's coming through on the camera or not. Um, chirping sounds usually a sign of capacitors. 
Um, I don't remember these things chirping. It's been a while since I used one of these, but I don't remember these things chirping. Um, anyway, so um, I've got a um, an antenna connected to a end connector here, so we'll just screw this antenna in here and we'll see. I already see some stuff showing up. This is obviously not the best thing in the world, and I see a, a peak over here. That's probably FM stations. So let's just uh, basic check. 88 megahertz. Let's stop at 108 FM um, FM band, and there you have it. Those are the radio stations. Not really. Well, it has actually 10 dB attenuation to boot. So, <laughs> anyways, um, so it works. Um, I just need to clean it up and uh, find a home for it. Um, and that's uh, that's basically all she wrote. And find out what that damn chirp is, because that chirp's going to drive me crazy. Um, I don't remember them making that chirping sound. So, um, obviously, for the money that I paid for it, which wasn't much, I'm not really going to complain. I mean, for a, for a working spectrum analyzer, uh, 500 bucks is a good price. Even with a couple of buttons that are really, you know... I'm, I'm, I'm sure the buttons work. Um, my finger is obviously not conductive enough to, um, to trigger them. But um, I should be able to use something uh, to, uh, to push them. Let's see? So they work. Um, you know, they work. That's not an issue. Anyway, so that's basically it. Now I just have to find a home for this guy, find that chirp, check that battery inside of it. Um, chirping maybe is getting slower. It's not relays. Um, it's getting slower. It's probably warming up, so uh, I'm guessing caps. It's probably a good idea that the age of this piece of equipment, even though it's working, just because this thing is 20 years old, um, it, it would be a good idea if anybody, you know, that watches this picks one of these things up on eBay like I did, um, you know, give it a good once over, you know. Unless it's been, you know, calibrated and tested and all that kind of stuff. This one hasn't been since 2009, so um, it's got no recent cal. I don't care uh, about opening it up and breaking somebody's cal seals because that chirping that's the fact that it's now getting less and less even the longer it's running is an ominous sign of capacitors and the power supply um well it just clicked so maybe you know what i wouldn't be surprised if that's maybe it's internal um that might be it's internal because now it stopped it did there was a relay throw and then it stopped i wonder if that's its internal oven uh, that may be its internal oven warming up. Huh, well, you know what? I'm still going to go over it. No, the chirp's back. Um, I'm still going to go over this unit. And, uh, you know, i got to get the manual, and i got to pretty much relearn. I mean, I can do basic stuff on it that I can remember. But I'm going to... Uh, maybe I'll do a bunch of videos. I'll crack it open, go over it, you know, as I um, overhaul... Uh, you know, the power supply and things like that. But that chirping is definitely changing as it as the longer it's running. It's an ominous sound. So anyways, we got... Um, does um, peak search... Yeah, peaks work. peak search is working. 97.45 megahertz, so that's going to be a radio station. Um, can I cycle through the peaks? Um... What is this changing? No. How do I cycle through the peaks? I can't cycle through the peaks? Well, no. I, I'm sure you can. I just don't know. Um, I don't recall how to do any of that kind of stuff. So it's pretty much the peak circuit. The peak search is just finding the peak. So um, whatever these guys over here are. Um, other radio stations. But anyways, that's basically it, guys. Now that I got one of these beasts, um, I'll do a bunch of videos on it. I'll crack it open. We'll look at it. Um, probably do some capping, recapping, particularly the power supply. 
and um, go from there. Anyway, guys, till next time. Um, catch you later.